OK. Assembly of FCU Automation Drive Bean Closure By the end of this module, you would have a clearer understanding on Assembly of FCU Automation Drive Bean Closure Now, let me explain to you how to assemble a frequency converter automation drive bean closure. The assembly of FCU Automation Drive starts with the assembling of the following parts. Power card, bus bar unit, SMPS card, control card unit, front cover. Before the assembly of the power card, you should follow some instructions in order to obtain equal dissipation of heat over the entire power module surface. First, remove previously applied heat compound areas on the chassis or power module surface without scratching the surface. Finally, apply the heat compound from a tube on the chassis. The compound should be applied to the chassis before the assembly of the power card in order to obtain equal distribution of heat over the entire power module surface. Now let me list out to you the instructions that you need to follow in order to assemble a power card. Connect the 20-pole ribbon cable on MK100P on the power card and the DC supply cable in MK102P on the B1 drives, then plug in the mains or power connector to FK100P. Place the power card in the chassis. Then, tighten the four screws for rectifier and IGBT module in B1 and four plus two screws in B2. Four for the IGBT inverter module and two for the rectifier or brake module holding the power module to a torque value of 0.8 newton meter using torque wrench. Take a look at the illustration. It shows tightening patterns for IGBT and rectifier. It should be noted that while tightening a screw to the set value in newton meter, we should first tighten until the screw head is flush and then tighten the screws to the required set value that is 0.8 newton meter in this case using a torque wrench. After tightening to a torque value of 0.8 newton meter, finally you have to tighten the screws to a torque value of 3.5 newton meter using a torque wrench. Take a look at the illustration. It shows the final tightening pattern of the IGBT and rectifier. That is, the torque pattern of the IGBT and rectifier after it has been tightened to a torque value of 3.5 newton meter. Then, tighten the four PCB screws as indicated to a torque value of 1.2 newton meter using a torque wrench. Now you have done with the assembling of the power card. The screws should be tightened to the set value in newton meter using a torque wrench, else you will result in unequal distribution of heat over the entire power module surface, which in turn, results in bursting of the power module. 